Good morning. It's uh, it's about eleven o'clock on I guess uh, January the second. It's Monday. Time to go back to work. Uh, I really don't want to go back to work. Sitting, uh, well, I can see the McDonald's. I just all I see is tons of people with uh, disposable income. I guess. I mean, I can see a line all the way around, like the whole McDonald's parking lot's full, and I can see a line all the way around the McDonald's, like all the way around for the whole drive-through. McDonald's is expensive. I can't even think of a time I've like, like it's hard to get out of McDonald's for less than like six, seven, eight dollars, like for a six-piece and a large fry. Like it's McDonald's is so expensive. I used to eat McDonald's a lot when I was a kid, but, uh, yeah, not, <laughs> I don't spend money on pretty much food anymore, <laughs> except for, like, uh, just super budget cookie, just whatever cheap thing, five bucks, you're not really gonna get takeout for five bucks, you get Burger King, could get Little Caesars, but you would, you know, just get the one meal, because it'd probably be, like, three fifty or four bucks, so I don't know, I don't really know what that's like anymore. I really want Papa John's, but every time I want Papa John's, I'm like, oh, it's like $7 for the breadsticks, and then you don't have a bunch of the sauce, so then you need extra sauces, and then it's like eight fifty or 9 bucks, and then it's like, oh, what's the point? It's too much. And I haven't eaten, you know, I probably can't even eat all of it anymore. I'd have to, like, stuff myself just to eat it, so. Yeah. All right, well, we'll move on to the, the book. I'm back in town to work uh, my car. You know, and uh, well, we'll just move straight to the curb, curb point. Um, um somewhere. <clears throat> oh, yeah, a car always smells like burning things. I get like a burnt hair, or, like a burnt vacuum smell from uh, when I, when I first turned the car on. And then I turn the vents on, I get like a burnt vacuum smell or burnt hair smell coming through the vents. The people at Firestone were like, oh, it's fine. And like, I don't even think they really checked it out, which is annoying that I paid them like money to check it out. And I don't even feel like they really did. So yeah, it kind of sucks. But yeah, that smells like uh, every time I turn the car on now, it just smells like burning hair, or burning rubber. Yeah, it sucks. Uh, not good. And uh, outside, it just always smells like various like burning fluids. Like, I don't know. I'm not a mechanic, so I, I don't actually know. But it just smells like burn, I'm burning fluids. So, yeah, it sucks. Uh, I don't know. I, part of me is not even confident they gave me an oil change. Like, when I left there, I checked my oil, and I was like, oh, yeah, that looks new. You know what I mean? It was nice and uh, clear, and it looked full, so... But they didn't put a sticker on it, so I, I couldn't be like a hundred percent. I drove for like twenty miles and then I like pulled over because I was like, ah, let me torque my wheels and stuff just to be sure. But yeah, I don't know. The car just doesn't inspire. Maybe it should inspire confidence. It smells terrible. It smells like burning things all the time. But it'll drive pretty much anywhere. Like I don't know. It just hasn't let me down yet. I know didn't let me down for the last two weeks of driving constantly basically so maybe I shouldn't be so anxious about it um started watching Black Adam uh, I could not could not finish it got like an hour and 20 minutes in I was, it was so bad oh was so bad like The Rock occasionally has good roles <laughs> you know uh, like human growth hormone monster <laughs> <laughs> that is the rock or whatever um yeah he occasionally has good movies this is not one of them this is so bad i might try and finish watching it i had planned to try to finish watching it before i commented on it but god it's so i don't know if i'm even gonna finish watching it it was that bad yeah it was, it was rough dude um i wrote some of these in the dark <laughs> black adam was one of them um, oh god. You yeah, give me a second. Uh, 
Oh, um, if I get the apartment and just try and... I can't read this because I kind of wrote it in the dark. Like, complete darkness. <laughs> I was just like... Duh, duh, duh. Yeah, so, um, if I get the apartment, try and just, like, change my mindset. Thankfully, I could read the second half of the sentence so I knew what I meant. <laughs> yeah, but just try and, like, change my mindset and, uh, stop being so mean to people, you know. Trying to change my mindset. Like, I, I say that, dude, but I'm telling you, you get into the all white space and people call you, like, the, 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 a couple gamer words a few times and you just get them. Yeah. I don't know, but we will try if I get the apartment. Uh, I didn't hear anything back yet. I'm going to attempt to call. Uh, I'm going to try and call them tomorrow. I wait today because maybe they'll see the thing and then message me about it or something, but I'm going to call tomorrow and find out. Yeah. Um, let's see. <clears throat> just, yeah, just... Oh, and I also wrote down, uh... Yeah, try to make, uh, weird new goofy friends. Oh, my. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try. Which is a lot for me. <laughs> um, feeling anxious, not wanting to go back to work. I have nothing else to do, so I have no choice. I have no choice. I mean, technically I have a choice, but the other choice brings me to such a bad result that I can't do it. I can't. It's like, it's like asking me to, like, throw everything away. I really don't want to go back to work here, but I still have another job. Uh, nobody's going to pay me that amount of money anywhere else as far as I know. No. Ah, uh, um, Yeah. I'll skip ahead for one point. Um, the realty company that I want the apartment through has really bad reviews. Just like really bad reviews. Uh, like the one, the guy said in this thing, he's like, the one good thing I can say is, the or the only good thing I can say about them is, it was cheap. <laughs> That's not very endearing. I don't know. And, yeah, they want, like, a ton of, like, proof of this and that and, like, former rentals that... I'm like, bro, this is, like, an upstairs apartment and, like, a crap hole. Like, it's a... You know, I've went past it. I was fairly certain which one it was. It's not very nice. Like, for, like, you know. Either you... I have six months rent. Like, either you want me to move in there or you don't. Like, I'm gonna call them tomorrow and find out. Because, yeah. I don't know. It's gonna get cold again, which sucks. And, again, it's just, like... If I have the apartment, I'm that close, I can grind harder. And I intend to just grind harder. It's going to be real hard to be grinding in the car. Especially because... Uh, I, life so... I, I I don't know. Yeah. I just wouldn't be as, uh, you know... Rastafarian all the time if I was at the apartment. I'd, be a little bit, I'd have a little bit more to do. I'd be a little bit more busy. You know what I mean? Yeah, it wouldn't be so, uh, you know are gone all the time it'd definitely be better for me so we wait and see um it i don't there's other apartments like there's other apartments like that aren't within you know walking distance but that's the point like so within walking distance the car becomes kind of irrelevant if the car breaks it's like well i can look around for a new car i don't have to like rush into this you know new car experience but like if i have to drive to work and the car breaks it's like well well, now I just have to, like, dive into anything I can get into. It's Toyota. And that's uh, not a good place to be. <laughs> it's just to dive in. Like, well, what can I get? Because yeah, then usually you end up with, like, uh, two turds and a piece of coal. That's not good. <laughs> um, oh. Uh, yeah. Problem with the thrift store. Every store, every state has people waiting to get in whether it's to just buy junk like i see people buy like four hundred dollars with like guild and shirts and stuff like i've seen that before was just so much just junk 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 um it'd be like a mom shopping for their like five kids or something and be, but yeah again it's just like there's people waiting there to buy junk or to resell good stuff so it's like one of the biggest problems um at least where i am like I, i've been other places where i get all the touch stuff till it's the shelf which, again, it doesn't really matter because then you just kind of, like, you follow the people around. You just kind of hawk eye and wait for them to hit, you know, put what you want on the shelf. And then you just grab. It's, the system's broken if you 
believe, you know, in gray areas with this system. So, <laughs> yeah, I've been known to pull things out of, well, up here you can, but, like, even down there, like, I've been known to pull things out of carts, pop things, you know, out the back room, like, all types of stuff, like, you know. You can negotiate someone to bring something out of the back room into the front room, like, there's all types of <laughs> things you can do. But up here, like, they just push stuff out on carts and racks, right? Um, in most of them, even the Amish ones. So, like, if you're not there when it's, like, put out, you're probably just not going to see it. Like, it's probably the chance that someone else has grabbed it or got it up. So, it's really hard to, like, find stuff. Like, I understand what people mean when they're like, ah, oh, you can never find anything. It's like, you have to dig. Like, you have to, you have to dig. Like, I dig through women's sections for hats sometimes to find things. Like, you, you just have to dig so hard to find stuff. Like, sometimes there's not even anything there. Like, you could literally be the most thorough person ever and dig through every single thing and pretty much come up with nothing. Like, you have looked through thousands of things or, you know, a thousand or fifteen hundred things and found nothing. Like, that happens and it sucks. Ah, my knee. It's just hard. Like, there's so much to compete with. It's like, you know, it's hard to compete with everyone. Because everyone is there to do the same thing, I guess. And like I say, it, if if you start out at this store, like someone else is starting out at the store that you're going to go to next. Like, it's just, you literally just have to, like, get part of its luck. Like, I don't know. Like I say, I live with the rabbit's foot up my butt. So, like, uh, I'm, I'm lucky in weird ways. Like, that's a guarantee. <laughs> like, if someone was to, like, Shoot a bullet right now. I don't know. <laughs> like a high chance it just like ricochets off the A frame and just goes somewhere else. Like I don't even get hit. It's like, oh, that was lucky. It's like, yeah. That's that's how it be for me sometimes. I don't know why, but almost living in my car, but lucky in weird ways. So yeah. Uh my battery is just barely lasting me. I charged them on uh Thursday night when I was sleeping. So I got them like Friday morning. They're just barely uh, gonna hold me down, I guess, until I get back to work. <sighs> I don't know. Um, usual weird guy in the like sixty thousand dollar Dodge Ram, just hanging out for hours in the Walmart parking lot again. Like he does all the time. I don't know why he doesn't get out of the car. Sometimes he meets with somebody. Sometimes he doesn't. Ah, uh, yeah, just hang, hangs out in the parking lot all day. Like not every day, but a lot of days for like. Hours. Uh, I think he's still there. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Um, yeah, it's just weird. People feeding the cats. I've only seen one of the cats so far. I was like a bigger one. So, at least since I've been back. You know, they're not exactly coming out. And uh, yeah, I haven't exactly like parked. I haven't been here very long, so I've only seen one of the cats. But I assume most of them uh, survive the cold. That's just my assumption. I don't know. We'll see. I'll update, you know, if I see more cats. I've only seen the one. I think there's, like, I think it's four or five, and I think at least one of them is kind of like a smaller kitten. Like, decently. I don't know how old, but uh, older than the kitten that I had. You know what I mean? So, not in the same one. Totally different pattern and everything. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I think I had all the points in the book. Now I'm feeling anxious, not want to go back to work, but that's kind of normal. Like, I'm very routine-based. That's why I don't really like that. Uh, we had all this time off. I kind of like to just, like, keep it rolling and keep it, you know, consistent so that I don't have a lot of time to think. But I don't even want to go back. Like, I don't actually want to go there. I kind of want to just, like, I, I don't want to keep doing this, sitting in the car, like, staring at my phone all, all day. Like, that sucks. It's boring, boring. And I really don't have anything to watch. Like, I'm I'm kind of at that point where I just don't have anything to watch. Like, I kind of like to watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I kind of like to watch the rest of the Harry Potter stuff. But not very fun or convenient in the car. So, yeah. There's nothing I really want to watch. Um, don't really want to play games because it's so inconvenient for me to charge a Steam Deck. So, don't really want to do anything. Which sucks. Like I said, I don't want to go to work. I kind of like to just, like, I've been watching Summit every day, you know what I mean? Watching J-Ron Summit, Summit content. 
just watching him play Tarkov. Super fun. I wish to uh, I wish to play Tarkov again. Even just wow, like something fun. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I watched someone playing Daisy, and uh, they have like a uh, highlights for their year of playing Daisy. It was this girl, pretty like super small channel. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, great content. Because it was, it was super funny, like three minute <laughs> thing of just like them dying in weird ways or just goopy things happening. It's good content. That's the that's what I would like to do. Like I don't I don't know exactly how we're gonna get there. Like I guess I already have like footage and stuff from games and different things that I can just kind of edit and work around and mess with and learn video editing more. Like actually learn it, you know, because I I know it from like an outside perspective, but not from like a, I actually know how to use it perspective. So yeah, I'll just be practicing stuff. But uh yeah, so like get somewhere i'm not sure uh, i found the sheriff's auction for my one well, just generally sheriff's auctions the only things i've seen were like very strange pieces of land that nobody can live on like one of them was like a tiny strip in a driveway like a tiny strip of a driveway a very tiny <laughs> i don't even a car probably wouldn't even fit in this strip and then there was like another one that was like complete middle of the woods <laughs> no access to anything i'm like okay so yeah, I don't know, I'm gonna just have to just keep hunting. But again, it just comes down to like, do you have twenty thousand dollars in cash for a loan or for you know a foreclosure property? No, no, you don't. So it's like, just kind of, kind of sucks. But I have to you know hunt around and look around and try and keep myself motivated and not think about the fact that it could take me a long time to get the money that I need to make this happen. Because I would yeah I'm thinking thinking about it makes me depressed but yeah i'm gonna let this upload i've been letting them upload while i watch youtube for the most part they've been pretty fine one saps the battery a little bit but not the worst thing ever as long as i only watch youtube like if i go off task and i try and like do other things on the phone it'll potentially stop uploading and like break itself but as long as i just watch youtube i'm fine so i'm about to hop off this eat breakfast <sighs> get ready to go back to work I, you know i don't know a 54 cent raise apparently and i won't even know if i got it because i won't get paid for two weeks you know 10 days well, will be more than 10 days it'd be like seven or five I mean, yeah i get it back two weeks i'm stupid but yeah hope everyone starts the new year off on a good note you know get ready to go to work hope i don't get hurt if nothing bad happens Hopefully I can figure out something with this apartment. Again, I don't like it. I don't want it. It's not even close to what I want. Um, the thumbnail for yesterday's video was a house that I really like. There's a lot of uh, small houses I've been kind of taking pictures of just in case, like, I could get with a real estate agent at some point and be like, hey, this is kind of what I'm looking for. You know what I mean? Like, small, single-family homes, one to two-bedroom, potentially, you know, basement, finished basement, uh, <clears throat> one bathroom. Just small, you know, small little home. Or, you know, even just, like, have pictures of things to be like, hey, like, how much would it take for you to build this for me? Yeah. Like, how much, you know, how much would that be? Because I have no idea. But, yeah. Uh, that's it for the day. I'll come back with another one tomorrow. Uh, hopefully tomorrow I have a slightly more of an answer. I can't even fill out the application for the real estate thing um on my phone because it's got this weird overlay thing and it's not possible for me to do on my phone it's like there's an overlay on top of the form and when i scroll i can see the form but the overlay is always there and i can't really do anything with it so it's kind of jank and yeah hopefully hopefully tomorrow when i call these people will have a little bit more of an answer for me i don't have a bunch of rental history i've only had one rental in my name you know what i mean but i also don't really have anything against me as far as my credit but I also don't really have any credit. So. We'll, we'll see. Like I said, I have the money. You know, I have the rent and the deposit, and it's available now. So we'll just see. It could already be gone for now. But I'll let y'all know tomorrow. Uh, yeah. See you guys. Have a good day. You know, be safe.